We're going to kick things off with everyone's favourite, the treadmill. After getting on, we recommend attaching a safety clip and selecting your workout using the touchscreen. You can adjust the speed or incline of a treadmill using either the touchscreen buttons or the physical buttons in front, whatever you prefer. When using a high incline setting, please try and avoid gripping onto the handles too hard as it's not good form and it can cause lower back pain. In case of an emergency, just smack that big red emergency button and a treadmill will grind to a halt. Next up is a cycling machine. This has four adjustment points, so make yourself comfortable. When adjusting the seat post height, try and make it around waist height when you're standing next to it, so that when you're sitting down, your legs should have a slight bend in it. It should never be fully locked out and straight. When you get on the machine, either clip yourselves in if you've got the right shoes for it, or strap yourself in. Once again, you can select the workout you want from the touchscreen right in front of you. Once you're done pedalling away, try and ease yourself into a gradual stop, as there's quite a lot of inertia in the wheel. If you can't do that for whatever reason though, don't worry, there is an emergency brake as well. Next up, we've got the cross trainer, and by now, you're probably going to be seeing a pattern. Hop on, select your workout, and adjust it using either the screen or the buttons. With the arm bike, it's even easier. Hop on, lock it into the position that feels comfortable, adjust the resistance with a knob on top, and grind away. And wrapping up our cardio machines, we've got the Stairmaster. Aim to stay at the top of the stairs as you're closer to the controls, but do be wary of your head, as it is quite close to the ceiling. In an emergency, slap that red emergency button, or if you can't reach it, use the one at the side of the stairs. Alright, alright, alright. We're done with the cardio machines and we're moving on to strength training. First up, we've got the infamous lap pull down. Use the prong to select the weight you'd like to use. Feel free to use the sliding weights for a more fine adjustment. Next, adjust the seat and lock yourselves in so you don't feel like you're going to fly off. Make sure your feet are firmly planted on the ground and pull away. As a word of caution, try and isolate your upper and middle back muscles. For your own safety, try and avoid flailing around with your lower back. It ain't gonna make your gains better, trust. Next up, we got the seated row. Adjust the seat to whatever gives you the best grip. Put your hands either on the top or the sides, depending on whatever muscles you want to target the most. And row, row, row your boat, just like Joe is doing here. Moving on, we've got the assisted pull-up and dip machine. If you're doing pull-ups, select the level of assistance you require, and use either the top bars or the lower bars, depending on how long your arms are. Same thing goes for dips. Use either the wide grip or the narrow grip, depending on what feels best for you. Next, we've got one which you really do want to get right, the hamstring curl. Adjust your seat so that your knees are just over the edge of the seat. Adjust the ankle bar so that you can maintain strength throughout the whole range of motion. Lock your legs in and curl away. Use the red spot for guidance. It should be in line with both your knees. You can find this helpful feature on the leg extension as well. Next is the old reliable cable crossover machine. Use the carabiner to secure whatever attachment you desire. Pull on the orange toggle and adjust the height to whatever you require until you feel a firm click. If you see someone using one side, please maintain social distancing and do not use the other side. If you are using both sides and you feel the need to step out, like Joe here during a cable fly, that is totally allowed. If you do see someone stepping out of the box, please wait until they are done with the exercise or walk around them in order to maintain distancing. Quick side note here, if you are doing pull-ups, please mind your head so you don't hit the tiles. Do not attempt muscle-ups like I'm doing here, no matter how sick they do look. 
If you are a fan of glute bridges, we recommend using our fancy machine rather than using the benches like Joe is doing here. Plant your feet firmly on a platform. Lower the bar onto your lower abdomen. Lift and bridge away. Your heels should not lift up from the platform at any point during the exercise. We've got a few more specialised machines which should be pretty clear how to use. Any adjustments can be made by pulling on the orange latches. Use these to make sure you're targeting your muscles throughout the full range of motion. If you're doing an exercise involving a barbell, then after loading up the weight, please ensure you've locked them on using the plastic collars for your safety as well as the people around you. When doing the leg press, sit down comfortably, plant your heels on the platform, push your weight, and start pressing. If you get to the end of your range of motion, please do not lock out your knees. This can be extremely dangerous, especially when you're using large weights. Once you're done with your set, just extend your legs and put the supports back in place. Next up is every bodybuilder's weakest point, the calf machine. Adjust the height like Joe is doing here so you're slightly crouching and then push up onto your tiptoes. Next, lower yourselves using only your calves so that your heels are below the platform, as shown here. If you're using free weights, make sure you use something that is <coughs> appropriate to your skill level. Walk over to the bench and begin with your exercise. When changing exercises, simply pull on the orange latch as mentioned previously and adjust the bench to what you require. Last but not least, la pièce de résistance, the squat rack. Set the hooks and the supports to whatever height is optimal or remove them altogether depending on whatever exercise you're planning on doing. If you do plan on doing deadlifts as Joe is doing here, we recommend using the dedicated deadlift area to the right over here 